Welcome back kindergarten friends. Today is a very exciting day. We are using clay in order to sculpt our clay fossils. So the materials that we need for today are pretty simple. I have my clay right here. I have one of the plastic dinosaur fossils. It might be different from the one that you got to draw from and that is okay. And then what I have down on the table is a piece of canvas a type of cloth and that's going to make sure that our clay does not stick to the table. I'm going to set the clay dinosaur, um, I'm sorry, the plastic dinosaur off to the side for the moment so that we can focus on the clay. This is really special clay. It's going to go into a big oven called a kiln where it's going to heat up the clay and kind of bake it so that it will be permanently hard. So in order to put clay into the kiln, we have to make sure that there are no air bubbles in the clay. And in order to do that, we're going to do something called wedging. Wedging is very simple and it's also very fun because you get to take the clay and mush it around in your hand, just like this, just squeeze it, squeeze the air bubbles out. And you wanna do this for about 30 seconds. You'll count to yourself in your head to about 30 in order to make sure that you have no air bubbles in your clay. All right, I wedged it a little bit before I started this video, so I should be in good shape. When you have finished wedging your clay, we are going to form it so that we can use it to make our fossil. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to take your clay, I want you to roll it into a ball. The ball does not have to be perfectly round or perfectly smooth. So I have some cracks in here, that is totally fine. It's just mostly round like this. And then in between your two palms, I want you to squish it really gently. All right, so I have a piece of clay that's kind of like the size and shape of a cookie, right? Uh, you don't want your clay to be too thin, too skinny, because when we press our fossils into the clay, we don't wanna get any holes in there. So you want it to be a pretty good thickness like this. All right, now if you want to, if you wanna smooth any of those cracks out, you can take your finger, uh, you can run it over the clay in order to get out those cracks and those little areas that aren't quite right. But it's also okay if we have some cracks because it's clay and that just happens sometimes. All right, once you're happy with your clay, you can set it down onto the canvas. You can always smush it down a little bit more lightly with your fingers. And then we're going to press our dinosaur into the clay in order to make our fossil. All right, so in order to do this, we wanna be very careful because the clay is a little bit sticky, right? So we're going to take our, um, our plastic dinosaur and we're very gently going to press it down into the clay using our fingers. And then very gently, we're also going to pull the clay, pull the dinosaur back up. Isn't that cool? It looks like an actual fossil. Now here's the good news. You can also press your dinosaur into the clay a couple times. So I didn't get the tail. I'm gonna put a tail up here, press it down really carefully with my fingers and then gently peel it up. Super cool. Something else that I think is really awesome you can take the feet of your dinosaur and you can take your dinosaur for a little walk across your clay as well. All right, once you are happy with all of the different textures that you have in your clay, you're gonna set the dinosaur off to the side. You're really carefully going to pull your clay off of the canvas and flip it over so we have the blank side facing up. And then you're going to take one of these, it looks like a little wooden pencil, this is called a skewer. You're gonna take your skewer and you're going to gently write your name in the back. So I am going to write Mrs. and it makes some crumbs, it's okay, Mrs. Stuver. If you are having trouble with this, you can ask a friend or ask me. After you have finished writing your name, you're gonna carefully flip it over. We are going to set our clay pieces uh, into another room so that they can dry completely 
they will then go and be baked in the kiln and we'll get to add color to these in a few weeks. Great job, everybody.